Hey guys, it's Hope with Fit to Fight Republic, and today we are going to focus on our um, back, low backs and our hamstrings. Um, we'll give it just a minute or so to see um, who's going to show up today. But back and hamstrings, um, we'll start off with some neck release and um, shoulder rolls as well. I hope everyone had a great weekend and um, they're looking forward to some things starting to open back up. Uh, this week, as we see, um, hey, Yancy, see how that all rolls out. Um, so yeah, just let's come into a comfortable seat. And just really take a moment and um, notice which parts of your body are touching the mat. And if you're like, well, you told me to sit, so that's what's touching the mat. Um, just bring yourself inward a little bit. And you don't have to do any kind of fancy meditation or anything. Just simply close your eyes and let your body become heavy. Allow your shoulders to relax down your ear or away from your ears, down your back. We'll just take some really conscious breaths together. So inhale through your nose and then open your mouth and just let it go. Again, we'll inhale through our nose. Exhale, open your mouth, let it go. And just start to settle in, um, whatever you were doing before this. Notice how your body feels. Notice any sensations that arise as we are sitting, getting ready to start this practice. And then just gently drop your chin to your chest. Again, allowing your shoulders to roll down your back. And then bring your right ear to your right shoulder, come back to center, left ear to left shoulder. Yeah. And just move through this motion, this half, half circle with your neck a few times. And then if you'd like to, you can start to work into some full circles. If your head ever feels super heavy when you move to the back, um, you can just take your hands and uh, place them on your chest, and that creates a little bit of tension so it doesn't feel like that your neck is falling um, so far back. And we'll just come to the center, take your hands behind you. We're gonna roll our shoulders down our back again, opening up our chest, tilting our chin toward the ceiling. Maybe you find a tiny bit of an arch in your back here. And then release. Bring your fingertips to the ceiling, inhaling. Exhaling back down to the mat. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale. And then exhale. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. And just bring your right arm across your across your chest. Let's get into the shoulders a little bit. We're just relaxing our upper body before we move down to the mat for low back and hamstrings. You may want to grab um, a dish towel, a belt, a tie, um, something like that. If you have super tight legs. Then go ahead and release that arm, bringing your left arm across your chest. and then release. So we're just gonna kind of bring our legs out in front, soles of the feet are on the ground, your hands can be behind you, and just drop your legs over to the right side. And as you're here, notice that your shoulders might start to dump and you're curling into your belly, over your shoulders, and then pull your belly button to your spine. And that helps protect your low back, engages your core, Coming back to the center and then drop them over to the other side. And notice if as you drop them over or you started to slouch on your shoulders, pull your shoulders back, open up through your chest, pulling your belly button to your spine. And 
coming back to her center, and then you can just gently drop her knees from side to side, or when she'll wipe them a few times. And then just to engage our core, extend your legs straight out in front. We're going to bring our arms out in front as well. And then just slowly and with control, we're going to lower all the way down to our backs. Nice. Awesome. And then bring your knees into your chest. You can give yourself a little bit of a squeeze here, rolling out along your spine. And then bring the soles of your feet to the floor. And notice here, as we're talking about low back and engagement, notice how most of us um, have a little bit of a curvature in our, in our spine. So what we want to do um, is we want to tilt our pelvis towards the ceiling, or you can also just pull your belly button to your spine, and that should flatten out your back. So if you're ever wondering about like as you're engaging your core, this is this is the position it should be in. Standing, um, lying down. It's just a little bit of a pelvic tilt and pulling your belly button to your spine. Then you're gonna make sure you're walking your left heel in, really pressing into all four corners of your left foot, and then we're gonna extend that right leg to the ceiling. So this is where you might want to have a belt or um, dish rag or, or something like that handy. You don't have to worry about straightening out the leg yet. Right now, of course, we're just sending that heel towards the ceiling. You can take your hands and interlace them behind your uh, behind your leg here, or your hamstrings. And if your leg seems to be a little bit further away, then that's where that strap or that belt or um, this towel comes in handy. And then as we're here, just start to point and flex your toe. Again, you don't have to worry about straightening your knee, just pointing and flexing, rolling your ankles in one direction, and then the other. And then just coming back to this neutral position. Notice what your shoulders are doing, where our head is resting on the floor, our shoulders are resting towards the floor at the moment, so there's no tension in our um, upper body except for your hands interlacing behind your leg. And then if you like, you can start to straighten that leg a little bit. And if, it doesn't, if that's not happening, that's okay. Just see where you're at. You can add in some really tiny movements here, but also just stretching through your heel, activating that foot, um, should increase the stretch for you here. So notice if you're passive, what that feels like versus if you engage that hill. But adding in some small movements on. And then we're just going to breathe here for a few moments. Again, allowing your shoulders to relax. Notice if you're starting to hold any tension in your face. You want to keep that core engaged as well, so keeping your right hip moving towards the floor even as this leg is elevated. And simply all you have to do is pull your belly up into your spine. So feel free to stay right here, or if you want to lift your shoulders up, lift your forehead towards your leg, and hold for three, two, and one. Go ahead and release your upper body back down to the mat. You can release your legs and pull this knee in towards your um, chest or your armpit. You can take some gentle movements from side to side here. Bring your right leg down to the floor. We're going to drop our knees over to the left side for a twist here. So you can just keep your legs stacked, or you can take your right leg, your top leg, and tuck it underneath your leg just for a little bit to create a little bit more tension here, a little bit more of a stretch through that side of body. Arms can go out like a T, or really they can rest on your ribs wherever is comfortable. We'll just be here for a few moments. Just 
see if you can allow your head to be heavy. It's not having to do any work right now. And gently coming back through the center, you cross that leg, go ahead and release that right leg down to the mat for a moment. Bringing your left toe back in towards your bum, we're gonna stay on this right side for a few more moments. And same thing, you're just gonna extend your right leg toward the sky. This time, maybe straighten your leg a little bit more. So you have the option of doing the same thing that we did the first time, interlacing your fingers behind your thigh here. That's perfect. If you want to, um, you know, work towards your shin, grabbing towards your, your shin or your ankle, or even taking your big toe, you can also take that your belt or your strap around your foot, and just notice how it changes the shape and it changes the um, the tension in your leg. It's okay if you still have a bend in your knee, but if you want to start to straighten it, this is a great time to go ahead and do that. Now, wherever your position of your shoulders are, you want to try and allow them to relax as much as possible. Your right shoulder, if you're holding with your hands, probably not going to reach the floor, but that's okay. Your head, you want to, you know, allow it to stay pretty neutral. Left hand can rest wherever you'd like. And then just breathe, hopefully trying to, add, you know, open up your, the, the back sides of your legs without putting too much tension, without creating too much force here. Just allow it to naturally open. And it's a pretty big stretch. So if you're feeling that, then um, know that that is absolutely normal. Again, you have the option of bringing your shoulders off the floor for this next next few moments, the next two, few rounds of breath, and then bringing your forehead towards your leg. For three, two, and when the upper body comes back down to the mat, you're going to bend your right knee. You're going to reach for your foot, your big toe, with your um, peace line fingers. Yeah, if you can't reach your foot, great place for a um, strap, a belt. You can just grab the, your pants leg if you have on pants, or you can simply just grab your, your, your ankle or your shin. So there's always an option. And then we're just going to keep your knee at a, at a 90 degree angle here. So foot's going towards the ceiling. Keeping your knee bent in towards your armpit here. Maybe, again, you find a little bit of movement. Maybe not. Maybe that's next time. Maybe it's never. It's OK, too. Allowing your, your hips to be heavy, pulling your belly button into your spine to protect your, your low back. And again, just check in and notice if you have a big arch in your back and you're not flattened on your mat, and just go ahead and engage. Engage your belly button. Just another moment here. Upper body should be as relaxed as possible. I know this is a really tight stretch on um, on a lot of our legs. So when with control, go ahead and release those peace sign fingers, bring that knee gently into your chest, and then you're going to bring it down. You're going to extend your left leg straight, and you're going to bring that left foot into the inside of your leg. If you have super tight hips, you might notice that your leg doesn't want to easily open up, and that's okay. Um, just Give it some time, give it some breath. You could even take a pillow, place it underneath your um, your knee there, just as a little bit of support. Today is all about just like letting our bodies naturally open up our hamstrings, our low backs, um, without having to force it. And your left foot, you can you can keep it active, or if you just want to let your you know have passive toes, that's okay too. Be mindful that our pelvic bone is pressing into the mat or into the floor, engaging again into your belly button, keeping everything safe here. And then just allowing that knee to open up on its own. 
So you can stay here with the hands. If you want to extend them out above your head, coming into a full body stretch, they can either hover above the ground or you can relax them onto the floor. Just notice how stretching through your heel and through your fingertips, what that feels like. You're still pulling your belly button into your spine. And then bringing your hands back down by your side. You can bring that right foot, right knee back to the ceiling. Bring your left foot, taking your feet as wide as your mat, and maybe just want to walk your legs from side to side for a moment. Okay, come back to the center, and then we're going to start working on the other side. So this time you're going to pull your right heel into your bum, really pressing all four corners of your feet or your foot and into the mat of the floor. And then just extend your left leg to the sky. Remember it's okay to, to keep a bend in your knee to begin with. Just extending. Then you can interlace your fingers behind your hamstring, grab that towel, grab um, a strap, something to that effect and use it there if you have really tight legs. Keeping our upper body loose, keeping our head grounded on the floor for the moment. Maybe you start to straighten your leg just a little bit, you're pressing through your heel, and then just point and flex your toes on this side. You can move your ankle in both directions. And breathe. And it helps to activate your foot, so flexing your foot. And if you'd like, go ahead and pulling your forehead towards your thigh, your shoulders off the ground, and holding you for three, two, and one. Releasing your upper body, releasing your foot to the ground. This time we're going to drop our knees over to the right. Again, this might be good, or you can take that left leg this time and tuck it underneath your right. Just intensify the stretch just a little bit. Bring your arms out like a T if you like, or you can keep them in center. And just breathe. Just a few more rounds of breath here. All right, coming back to center. Left foot comes to the ground. Readjust your right foot before extending your left foot to the ceiling again. And this time, remember, you can always come back to your original position and releasing your hands behind your hamstring. You can walk your hands down to your ankle, to your chin, or you can take your peace line fingers and grab that big toe. Again, your leg doesn't have to be straight. Notice what your hips are doing. Notice if you need to engage your core here. And then just notice the sensations that come up as within the stretch. Try to relax your shoulders, stay on to the ground, allow your head to be heavy as you're in the space. Here for a few more moments. And then if you'd like, lifting your forehead towards your thigh, your leg towards your forehead, and holding it for three, two, and one. Go ahead and slowly release back down to the ground, bringing your left knee into your chest this time. You can make some small circles in both directions. Again, taking your peace sign fingers either with your toe, or you can take uh, your strap or your belt or whatever, and then we're going to bring that foot toward the ceiling. 
heating their meat in towards their armpit. You can have some small, tiny movements here, or you can just stay with the stillness. Allowing your upper body to be heavy. Notice if you're holding any tension in your jaw, and see if you can just let that go for the next few moments. And just extend your right leg down to the ground. Straight out. You're going to release your, your foot. Bring it down to the inside. We call it tree, um, seated tree. So again, you're allowing your knee to butterfly towards the floor. Keeping your right toes activated here. If you've got super tight hips, grab a pillow. Place the pillow underneath your hip as we're here for the next few rounds of breath. You can keep your hands wherever you'd like. You can make a T. Maybe on your ribs, or you can again extend your fingertips above your head, allowing your arms and fingers to hover off the floor, or you can relax them onto the floor if you have a fully open shoulders. And then just breathe here. Releasing your hands down by your side. Bring both feet to the soles of, or both soles of the feet to the mat. Again, one shoulder wiper from side to side once or twice. And then we're going to come on to our left side, or I'm going to come on to my left side. You can come on to whichever side you need to um, in order to be able to see. And I'm going to spread out my body long. And if you notice when you're here, that you start to wobble at all, then just pull your belly button into your spine, which is going to help stabilize you. We're not going to be here too long. Then coming up on your forearm here, you're going to bend your knees back behind you. And same thing that we worked from the ground, we're just going to come to it from a different perspective. So we're going to, we're going to work towards grabbing that big toe and extending that leg all the way up. If you're super tight, that's okay. You can stay right here or you can stay here. Um, you can grab, again, your pants. You can um, grab a dish towel. It might be a little bit harder with a dish towel with only one hand, but definitely grab your pants or um, as far down on your leg as you need to. So grabbing your, your, your toe here, your these line fingers, we're gonna extend that leg up towards the ceiling. If this seems like too much and you're super wobbly, um, you can always come back down to that lying position if that's more helpful. Again, I'm not going to be here long. Just focusing on your breath, really stretching through um, that top leg. You can play with extending the bottom leg, keeping your toes activated here. Just focus on your breath. And slowly bending back into that front leg. Bring it back to meet your left. And then we're just going to slowly come up to a seated position. Bring your hands, or your feet, your hands out in front. And this time, dropping your knees to your right or left doesn't really matter. And then we're just going to come into a twist before we move on to the other side. Come back through center, moving over to the other side, coming into a twist on this side. Back to center. And then we're going to come on to laying on this on the right side for me, whichever side you didn't do last time. So if you want to lay all the way down, you can. If you just want to come to that forearm, since you kind of know where we're going. But play with your balance for a moment. So even if you don't come all the way down, just play with your balance. Play with pulling your your belly button into your spine. This is really important in any exercises you do. If you can learn to activate your core, it's going to help um, stabilize you and whatever whatever exercises you're doing. Um, once you play around with that for a moment, you can reach for your toe, your pants, your shin, and then we're just going to extend 
are opposite lie to the ceiling. And notice that, you know, you don't want to dump into your shoulders. You want to stay up. That's why it's so important to engage your core here. It's okay, again, if you have a bend in your knee. So wherever you're at today is perfect. Really stretching through that bottom leg. Perfect spin, that's okay too. And then just breathe. Let's spend a moment here. Go ahead and bend into that top leg. You're going to push yourself back up to a seated position again. This time extending your legs out in front. You can shake through your legs a bit. Again, point and flex your toes. Maybe make some circles with your so we're going to use two different variations in this forward fold. First, extending your fingertips to the ceiling, and then exhale. It's okay if your hands um, come to your shins or outside, wherever you're at. This is going to be a more of an active variation. So if you've been working on your forward folds, we're working on getting our chest to our thighs. So maybe you bring your side forward, bringing your chest to your thighs, then you bend into your elbows as you're here. Your legs don't have to be completely straight. You, you never really want to lock them out unless that's what we're working on. And then just breathe here. You kind of let your breath carry you a little bit deeper into the pose. Then you can release your hands if you have your if you have your feet. You're going to take your feet just a little bit wider. You can continue to stay in this forward fold. Keep your knees bent, allowing your arms to come into the center, and you're just going to release your chin to your chest, coming into a passive variation of this forward fold. Your feet can do whatever they want. You don't have to activate them any longer. Almost like a ragdoll. Slowly coming back up to seated. We'll come back to the to an easy seat. Move through one more shoulder release. Right or left hand comes to the ceiling. Drop it back behind your head. Just take your elbow and then lift your chest. Yeah, pay attention to what's going on here because we have a tendency for our ribs to want to come out. We're going to pull everything back into alignment, stacking, stacking your hips and your shoulders over each other. Go ahead and release your left hand. Right hand comes to the ceiling, dropping back behind. And then again, once you're settled in, check in with your ribs, pull them back in, always have to do it. And then maybe you start to lift your, your, face, your chin just a little bit. And breathe. Right. Go ahead and release your arms. You can. Roll for your shoulders, forward and back. Bringing your hands back to your knees. We're going to open up our chest and then curl everything forward for seated cat and cow. Do that a few more times. Two more times. And the last time. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, quick session today uh, for low back and hamstrings. Um, as always, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to shoot me a message. Um, you can DM me at Hooks Mike if you'd like. 
and I'm always open for suggestions about what you guys would like more of. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday, and I look forward to seeing all of you um, on Thursday. Thanks, and have a great day.